Hey yo, what's good? Welcome to my Grudge Match movie review. Grudge Match is a movie that came out in Christmas of 2003. So it's a relatively newer movie compared to the other movies I have reviewed. This movie is starring Robert De Niro and um, Sylvester Stallone. Also Kevin Hart, as you could read here. Alan Arkin. Kim Basinger. John... Burnthal. I'm not a big Kevin Hart fan. Like, he's funny, but I, I don't find him as funny as I think everybody else does. I think he is really overrated. And I'm not that big of a fan, so I was like, ah, if Kevin Hart's gonna have a big part, I'm gonna bash this movie. But honestly, he did not have a huge part in this movie. He And he did have some funny lines. Some lines, I'm like, heh, heh. Like, Eh, like, I, I don't find him that funny, but he didn't have a huge role in this movie, so I think that was a good thing. So this movie starts off with Jim Lampley, funny enough. Jim Lampley, he's doing like sort of like a sports center type show. He's doing a recollation. recollation. I, apparently these guys had two fights when they were in their prime in the 80s. Sylvester Stallone's name is Henry Razor Sharp and Robert De Niro's name is Billy the Kid McDonald. So the kid won in the first fight and that fight was in 1980 and then they rematched I think a few years later and and Razor Sharp just totally wiped the floor with 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 the kid. He wiped the floor, knocked him out in four rounds. So they were about to do the rematch. And for one some reason, they do not know. Nobody knew at that time. Razor Sharp just decides to retire. So that third fight that the public demanded that these both guys wanted never happened. And it fast forwards to their time. Robert De Niro sitting in a bar, drinking with a bunch of people. He's like, yeah. But you could see it. He says like he he could never live down not having the third fight. So, but he was well off. He saved his money. He was he owned the car dealership, so he was doing well. If I, if fast forward to Razor, which is Robert, De, uh, I mean Sylvester Stallone's character, Razor lost all his money. He was shammed by the promoter or the manager. Yeah, the promoter Dante Slate who was Kevin Hart's character's dad, Dante Slate Jr., which he later comes into character in a bit. And he's broke. He lives in a small home. He he goes to work in a factory that looks pretty... Or like an industrial part, like something out of Detroit or something like a... a uh, assembly line it looks like so he goes to work in the factory like that every single day and then they hit they talk to him they're like hey did you watch that special last night one of his friends and he's like what i don't have a tv and they're like dude the, the 30th anniversary of your fight with with um the kid was on tv last he's like yeah i forgot about all that so he seemed to forget about all that and he he really didn't didn't like talking about his career and so these guys really didn't like each other. They hated each other for some reason or another. It's not known yet. Kevin Hart, the manager, Dante, Dante Slate Jr., he goes in, into, into Razor's home. He goes into his house, and, and Razor's like, what are you doing here, dude? And he's like, dude, just let me go in and talk to you for a minute, please. He said, okay. So he went in. He said, I need you. I'll give you $10,000 if you could pose for a video game. I just want to put you in this video game. And we need we need your, your movement, your motion, so we could use it in a video game. We're going to get you, Razor, and the kid, both of you, to, to we want to put both your characters into the game. He's like, no way, man. I don't want anything to do with the with the kid. He said, man, I know you need the money and you will not come in contact with the kid. So 
he did not want to see him at all. He hated him because every time the kid would talk about Razor, he would talk garbage to him. So he's like, no, I don't even want to get anywhere near him. And Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart got kicked out of his house. I'll show you the, the movie. You know, I can't even remember their names that well. Like, I always saw Kevin Hart. I saw Rocky <laughs> and Robert De Niro or Raging Bull. That's who I saw. I didn't see Razor Kid. Not that the acting was bad. I just couldn't get over who they were. And that's not a sign of, like, a great movie. Anyway, so he got kicked out of Stallone's. I'm, I'm going to just say their names because... I don't think their names are significant. So, no, I will. So, Dante Slate Jr. got kicked out of Razor's home. And <laughs> his car wouldn't turn. He's like... <laughs> I've had those problems recently. <laughs> but it's like, damn it. And then Rocky comes out. Rocky comes out. He's like, hey, man, I'll do it for 15 grand. Kevin Hart is like, all right, man, can you give me a jump? Where he's like, no. And he just goes back in. <laughs> so, so it jumps to where he's doing that motion sensor things for the video games. And he, he's wearing like a funny, uh, a funny green suit, like a neon green with like white balls on it. He's like, man, I look ridiculous. <laughs> Kevin Hart's like, hey, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> To affinity and beyond. So Kevin Hart did have some funny movies. I'm not hating on him, his performance here. But it's like, all right, let's get through it. And then comes out Robert De Niro wearing the same suit. And Razor's like, hey, man, I thought he wasn't going to be here. And Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart tells him, say, hey, you weren't supposed to be here till one. And the kid, Robert De Niro, <laughs> he says, hey. I wanted to see this coward and why he ducked me. He's been ducking me for 30. I want to see his bum ass. And then he just starts bashing him. It's like, hey, man, what's up? So so they like they, they get into the guard. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, you don't want to. So, so Rocky turns around. He's talking to Kevin Hart. And he hits a, he, uh, Robert De Niro hits Rocky from behind. <laughs> And then Rocky hits him back and he grabs a TV monitor that they have, hits him with the TV. <laughs> and then Rocky like spears Robert De Niro through the wall. <laughs> so that part was really funny. And one of the one of the guys that was there, one of the guys that was there um, doing the video games, he, he recorded it, put it on YouTube. And it went viral overnight. It went viral, and they both the, these guys go to jail, and there are separate jail cells. But Robert De Niro's on one, and Rocky's in the other one, and the bars are are in between them. But Robert De Niro's just talking. He's like, "Man, you're a you're a pussy. You've been ducking me for thirty years. Now you can't run from me." <laughs> and and he just kept talking. Robert uh, Rocky's like, man, well, some of you guys just rape them already. And they just start laughing. They get released in a little bit. And they get out. Kevin Hart comes comes out and to talk to them. He's like, hey, man, your video went viral. And, and he started talking about a fight that they wanted to do because they went viral. And that means to in the movie logic that they're, they're popular now that people are talking about them. So... He, he he talked to them about a fight, the third fight that could be made. Robert Guerrero, I mean Robert De Niro's character, the kid, the kid, the kid McDonnell. He's like, yeah, I want the third fight because he never got it. He said he wanted it, but Rocky Razor Sharp did not want it, and he's like, no, I don't want it. He walks away, and the kid's like, yeah, I know why he doesn't want it. Kevin Hart's like, what? He's like, yeah. I did his I did his girlfriend thirty years ago, so apparently he did his girlfriend after the second fight before the third fight, and he got her pregnant. So that's why Razor Sharp never wanted the fight with the kid McDonald because Robert De Niro 
did his girlfriend and got her pregnant. And then they leave. And... And Rocky's just contemplating, man. He's just looking at everything. He goes talk to his old trainer because he takes care of him. And he, he's talking to him. He took him home. And he's like, dude, you need the money, man. You need the money. It's like, I don't do it for the money. So, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. What made, what convinced... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Scratch that. Scratch, totally scratch that. So, Razor Sharp Rocky, <laughs> he he went back to work to his factory. And his friend from earlier, he got laid off. He's like, man, got laid off, man, after 30 years working here. And then the manager's like, Rock. He didn't say Rock. He's like, Razor, I need to talk to you, bro. So, that's when... You, you don't see it, but it, it, it's um, insinuated he gets fired from the factory. And that's when he goes home, calls Kevin Hart. He's like, hey, man, you still, is that offer still up for the fight? They were going to get 100 grand each for the fight. And Kevin Hart's like, yeah. So the fight is official. Robert De Niro celebrates. He's like outside of his home. He's like, yes, yes, after 30 years. Ah, he's outside all celebrating. And then after his tangent, he's like, ah, I need to get in shape. <laughs> so it skips to the press conference where you, there was like five reporters and they're all dicks, dude. They're all like, oh, will this be the first fight with Life Alert? <laughs> well, one's like, is it safe to say if one falls off? Can we say he's fallen and he can't get up? <laughs> but yeah, and Kevin Hart's like Kevin Hart was did a good performance actually. He he said a bunch of promoter Jimbo Jabber, you know, very very good words. I can't I can't remember what he said, but it, it told me so. He's like, yeah, they're old, but they can still do it. And this is Grudgement Day. That's what he call it, Grudgement Day. And so Grudgement Day it was, and the fight was announced. But a lady comes in at the end of the press conference, and then Rocky's leaving the press conference, and that lady's like, hey, Rock. And he's like, hey, I thought it was you, but I wasn't sure. So apparently she was the one that, she was Rocky's girlfriend 30 years ago that that Robert De Niro's character did and got her pregnant 30 years ago. And he's like, yeah, call me whenever you can, Rock. And he's like, why the hell would I call you? So it skips to their training scenes. And so, some of their training scenes are, are pretty funny. We've got Robert, Robert De Niro training. He went to LL Cool J who didn't want to train him. It's like, man, you're too old, man. And he's like, well, I'm not too old. And then he like, kicks him in the nuts. And, and he's like, ah, was I too old? Am I too old for that? So he lets him, he lets him train in his gym. Ah. And then there's a bunch of backstory about that. I, I, I'm going to briefly summarize that because that took over the, the movie for like 30 minutes. So that lady that Robert De Niro got pregnant, her son shows up to the gym that Robert De Niro was now training in. He's like, hey, you're my, you're my dad. He's like, oh, let's go get some coffee. And they were eating. And he's like, yeah, you're a jerk, Robert De Niro. I hate you. And then he just walks off. And what's her, Ro Rocky's former girlfriend, He she's kind of stalking Razor Sharp. And she's like, come on. And he's like, nah, why would I call you or anything? So he's training. He, then they finally get together. They go out on a date. And they go out on a date. Meanwhile, her son is started talking to Robert De Niro. He starts training him because Ella Kuje didn't want to train him. He put him with some fat fool, like some big fat fool. And he's like, yeah, he was like, wasn't even watching him train. He didn't take it seriously. And <laughs> what's funny is that his son gives him like some tips. He was getting his ass totally kicked. And he's like, yeah, come over the top with the right hand. And he just did that and he knocked the guy out in sparring. I'm like, okay, whatever, but that's not even my problem with this movie. 
Um, so his son starts training him after that, and then he tells his fat trainer, he's like, come over here, you fat piece of shit, so I could kick your ass, he chases him to the back, so it, it has some comedy, then it goes to the freaking drama, which I kind of couldn't stand that much from this movie, man, his son starts training him, and then he brings his grandson over, that kid is so annoying, he has the highest pitch voice ever he was a smart ass i know that was the thing with it but i couldn't stand that kid man i don't know if it was his acting i think his acting was bad maybe that's just how he was supposed to be but it was annoying i hated that kid anyway so they become you know father and son duo his name's bj by the way and he's like yeah a lot of people joked about my name until I smacked the, the loudest kid and they never made fun of me again. I'm like, okay, sure, tough guy. Your name's BJ. Anyway. So you get this love triangle with Rocky, Robert De Niro, and Sally was her name. I don't remember her name for some reason. And they get closer. Uh, Robert De Niro and his son BJ, they get closer. He, he starts hanging out with him a little bit more. And he's like, can I take my grandson out? Well, let's go for dinner and maybe a movie. And he's like, no, nah, my mom's going to kill me. He's like, it'll be a dude's secret. And they go out. <laughs> Robert De Niro takes him to a bar. He starts getting drunk, starts dancing with some chick. And she's like, hey, let's get out of here. And he's like, no, I need to take care of my grandson. And he was talking to the bartender because Robert De Niro left him there. And he's like... She, she said, he's all right. So they left. And then this kid, he walks into a room, finds the car keys for the huge car that Robert De Niro was driving. Probably an Escalade. Looked like an Escalade. Correct me if I'm wrong if you've seen this. He finds the keys, finds the box of beer that he was standing on because, <laughs> because oh, Robert De Niro, he was such an irresponsible grandson, grandfather that he couldn't get a car seat so he put his grandson in a <laughs> on top of a, tw a box of 12 pack of beer so this kid grabs the box of beer grabs the keys and gets in the in the driver's seat opens the car gets on the driver's seat put the box of beer this kid's f supposed to be freaking eight really anyway he gets on the car Turns on the key, turns on the car, puts it in drive, which I don't know if how he could have put it in drive if he couldn't step on the freaking brakes. <laughs> but anyway, he turns on the he turns on the car, the lights turn on, and Robert De Niro and the chick are in the back seat. <laughs> oh yeah, he didn't feel him open the freaking car. Anyway. They they get up, they're like, hey man, the car's moving. It's like, get right dad, why are your shirts off? <laughs> right dad, why is your in the annoyingest voice you could do? That's how he said it. And the car, it was like in an alley heading towards the street. And and the car's moving. And Robert De Niro has to crawl from the backseat to put it in drive. Oh no, 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 no. That's not what happened. He's like, push the brakes, push the goddamn brakes. And the kid's like, oh, I'm too short, I can't. It's like, push the brakes, man. <laughs> so he had to like slide down to push the brakes right when he was going to hit a car. And he's like, oh. And the kid's like, don't tell my daddy. He's like, oh, no, I won't. And then the cops, whoo, you just hear the siren. He's like, oh, damn. I almost got away with it, but didn't. So then his son goes, picks him up in jail. In jail yeah yeah it was like in court or something he goes picks him up there he's like i'm so ashamed of you dad how could you do this i trusted you to be responsible one time and even though you've never showed me to be responsible as a parent i'll let you alone with my grandkid even though you haven't shown signs of change at all so he leaves and then it goes back to rocky who, who's going out with with that chick and in the meantime they have promotions like um robert De Niro and rocky they go to a ufc event and they're like 
I don't get it. I don't. I don't like UFC. Really portrayed really old school because they don't like UFC. Uh, yeah, if I wanted. To. So Robert De Niro, and then Robert De Niro's like, yeah, it seems like professional wrestling. So this one guy is offended, really offended. I think he's a UFC fighter. I don't know if he he fights for real, but I think he must have. He must fight like in in UFC for real, but. He's like, oh, you think you're so tough? Take me on. Try to hit me. He was telling Robert De Niro because Robert De Niro was the witty one. But Rocky's like, yeah, hit him, hit him, hit him. And he's like, what? You want some old man? And then he smacked him in the right side of the on the head. It'll be significant in a little bit. That's why I said right side. He smacked him in the right side of the head. Rocky lays him out with a straight right. He's like, yeah. So this prom this promotion gets so... It, it, this promotion is so well done that... They need a new venue. The The first venue was planned for 5,000 people. And now they need a, a whole new venue because they needed a one that could fill like 18,000 people. And now they ha it had it on HBO and on pay-per-view nonetheless. But Rocky's like all celebrating with this new girl. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> then Kevin Hart calls him when they were in a restaurant. And... The guy's like, oh, he insisted. He said it's really important, and shit just got real coming from the coming from the waiter. But you know, Kevin Hart said that for real. And the chick's like, yeah, let's go. So they both leave, and he he's driving a really nice Mustang, and he's like, yeah, he's just driving. And she's like, why don't you look at me or something like that? He's like, why are you talking? It's like, oh, I really need to focus because I'm driving, and I usually don't drive at night. So, so yeah so he starts driving he crashes from the right side sally is now bleeding from her freaking cranium they go to the hospital she gets her cranium not her, her forehead I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating but her cranium gets shut together <laughs> cranium yeah it like split open no she has like a she has like a big cut on her forehead that gets sewed to, back together in the hospital and then his old trainer whose name was lightning he he's like hey rock i need to talk to you outside you blind huh and he slaps him in the right side he's like well how did you know that that guy in the ufc event should have never been able to hit you i saw that from a mile away he's like man lightning i need to i need to go through with this fight man he's like no i'm calling it off so he calls it off Rocky told Sally, he's like, no, I can't, I can't do this fight anymore because I'm blind from this right eye. It's like, she's like, yeah, you shouldn't do it. And so, so Lightning goes to Kevin Hart, Dante, what's his name? Dante Slade Jr. He goes to, a, to where he's staying. He's like, the fight's off. He's like, oh, he says a bunch of witty stuff that's not really that funny. But then, then the, he leaves like, damn. So he calls Robert De Niro. He's upset because he upset his son and he can't see his grandson anymore. And and he's like, damn. He's, he, he's really detrimented. And Rocky and Sally are in his house. They're all happy or whatever. And then you just hear a brick go through the door, through the window. And it's Robert De Niro. He's like, hey, why are you scared to fight me? You're ducking me again, you pussy. He's saying all these names to Rocky. He's like, you bum. You never want to fight me. Come on, we could do this. He's like, no, I don't want to fight you, Robert De Niro. And he throws another brick through the other window. And he's like, ah, fight me. Rocky comes out. He's like, I'm not going to fight you. He's like, why? Let's do it once and for all, man. This is embarrassing, but we're still alive. He said, "This we're everybody's laughing at us, but it's not like we're dead. We could still fight. And Rocky says no, and then he leaves. And then like the next day, he calls Kevin Hart, and he's like, oh, you actually want to fight after all. <laughs> Okay, and then the the fight's gonna happen. Ro Robert De Niro celebrating with a bunch of champagne. Robert De Niro goes ask his son. He's like, son, I need you. I need you. 
They go to another other few montages where they're all in shape. Fight night comes. It's an HBO event. The place is packed, and the fight the fight starts. It starts with Robert De Niro getting off, and he wins the first round. Second round comes. Rocky drops, drops Robert De Niro twice. Robert De Niro gets up, but he but before getting up, he looks at his son, and his son's like. Use the right. He he he's open for that right, and he's like, all right. So he he hits him with a few good shots, and his momentum is now his way. And after after that round, the right eye of Rocky is open, so the eyebrow is cut pretty badly, as pretty bad too. And and Lightning's like, I'm gonna stop the fight. He's like, Rocky's like, no, you can't. And the fight continues. If you've seen any of the Rocky movies, you know what I'm talking about when you see a few fight scenes and the ring card girls and rounds and the corners. So it was like that. It went past all the rounds until the last round. And this is where I had a problem with this movie. I had no problem with this movie before this last freaking round. So Robert De Niro comes out in this last round and he's smacking the shit out of Rocky and Rocky gets dropped. And Robert De Niro goes to his corner. No and but before when when Rocky was getting whooped BJ who's training his father Robert De Niro he 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 he's he's watching the fight and then his mom comes and she says something to him. You already know it's about something about the rock, Rocky's eye. So Rocky, Rocky gets dropped. Robert De Niro goes in the back, and he and he's like, "Yeah, I'm beating the shit out." Of him. He's like, "No, you're only beating the shit out of him because he's blind in one eye." He's like, "Bullshit," and he, he said, "No, it's true." I think it was the the penultimate round, so it was the round before the ultimate round where he dropped Rocky. Sorry for the inconsistencies, guys. But, and that, in the corners where he tells him, he's like, he's only blind in one eye. He's like, what? Yeah, he's like, my mom told me. He's like, all right, and I'm going to attack that eye and knock him out. Which is what anybody would do, right? Especially a guy that you hated for 30 freaking years, right? But his son's like, no, you have to fight him where he can see you. Because you want to beat him at his best, right? That's my problem. What the hell kind of advice is that? You're going to tell someone that has a disadvantage while you're fighting. It's not Robert De Niro's fault either. That he, he fought knowing that he was blind in one freaking eye. But now that he found out he had a blind eye, he's not supposed to go in and attack him? Really? So he gives that horrible ass advice and Robert De Niro's like, whatever. So he goes into the last round, starts whooping Rocky, starts hitting him with the left hooks and rights to the eye, to his blind side pretty much. And he's whooping him and then he drops him. He's like, yeah. And Rocky's not getting up or Razor Sharp isn't getting up. And he just looks at his corner and, it, and his son's like, shows that little puppy dog eyes disappointment. And you're like, what the hell, dude? He He's doing his job. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Anyway, so... Rocky's not going to get up. Robert De Niro goes there, picks up Razor Sharp, his enemy for 30 years. This is like, for me, imagining a Morales picking up Barrera. It's that type of caliber, guys. Or a Frazier... Picking up a Muhammad Ali like that. Someone that you hate. That you're going to die with that anger. That type of hate, man. Picture that. That's how I saw this. I'm like, ugh. All right. So, so the kid picks up Razor and they start brawling. And then he strategic, um, the kid strategically... Moves in front of his good eye so they could fight. He's like, yeah, I want to fight you at your best. So they start brawling. Bam, 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 bam. And now that, now that 
he could see him just because he could see him now it means that he could kick the kid's ass right because he could see it. it's not like he was hurt and stunned from the knockdown which he obviously wasn't because he got up just fine to not to knock him down so he now rocky knocks down robert de niro and robert de niro's not getting up either he was totally out of it and razor sharp sylvester stallone rocky balboa <laughs> gets goes to where goes to where billy the kid Don mcdonald is and picks him up as well i'm like oh my god all right all right so they get up they and then the round ends so he just picked them up so he could end the round so he can't say that he knocked them out scorecards red henry razor sharp he won from the last i think um if i had to put logic into this uh he won because of two knockdowns so razor sharp won and they're celebrating and they hug it out at the end and then everyone's like hey you want to do it again <laughs> and Sylvester Stallone's like hell nah <laughs> so that was funny and then the old dude the the his manager Rocky's trainer he's like oh bullshit we got robbed he's like man put on a turn on your hair again he's like what we won <laughs> and that's how it ended so all in all funny movie of course not one to take seriously but i had real problems with how it ended and real problems in the story and if this was such a comedy i didn't see it, feel the need for all that touchy stuff from the past that i i understand you need a backstory but it was just too much like you could have done all that with just montages <laughs> pretty much or not that much scenes with that freaking annoying kid man so, oh, there was a scene after the credits went on, on, yeah, and after a while, you know, sometimes there's a scene, yeah, and it's Kevin Hart walking, he's like, okay, you guys, after a rematch, you need to have a third fight, we could sell it perfectly, and it's uh, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield sitting on the couch, <laughs> and Holyfield's like, no. He's like, man, who cares Mike Tyson went ape shit and bit you, man? He could still do this. He was like, no. And then he says a bunch of stuff, and Holyfield's like, no. And Kevin Hart says, oh, we'll get you a part in the Hangover 4. And he's like, I'm listening. Mike Tyson gets up, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> and starts going after him. And then it ends. So that was funny. So this movie was funny. I know not to take it seriously, but even though I knew that, it still disappointed me in the last scene, in the in the fight scene. And in a lot of the storyline, too much dialogue. I want to see sparring. I want to see these guys training. I want to see Rocky-type montages. Even though they're old, you could have made it funny. There was funny ones, but they could have done more with it. I am glad Kevin Hart didn't have a huge part in this, but... Overall, not a bad movie. Uh, I wouldn't see it again unless someone really wanted to watch this one with me. You know, it's type one of those movies. I wouldn't watch it again. I definitely wouldn't buy it. Oh yeah, I paid 50 cents to rent it. So it's, it's worth 50 cents to rent. <laughs> so I give it three stars out of five. And a three stars out of five for me is one that's watchable and one worth watching at least one time. At least once, definitely once. It's not, and one that you could watch with your family for like a family night, but not a horrible, not a horrible movie. It, it's nothing really bad about it. It's just problems with me as a boxing fan in that last scene and as the, the and stuff that they could have done with the movie. You have two great actors in De Niro and Stallone, and that's what you decide to do. Yeah, so anyway, three stars, not bad. It was okay, uh, but I do, like I said in the beginning, I do have mixed feelings about it. Anyway, thank you so much if you're still watching this review. And hey, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should review next, just hit me up on the comments, guys, or hit me up in my inbox. 
And please comment your thoughts below on this movie if you watched it. What do you guys think? Did you love it? Hate it? Medium like me? Anyway, alright. You guys have a great day. Peace.